Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a shopping haul. Um, we bought a lot in Florida. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here and don't know me, my name is Morgan. For those of you who do know me, who are returning to my channel, welcome back. First of all, I have two things to say. If you're returning, you're probably thinking, where on earth is she filming right now? Because, as you can tell, I'm in a brand new location. Um, so the last few weeks have been very busy like since getting back from Florida and we have moved house. So we've moved out of my family home that's been the home I've grown up in for years um, and into a brand new home. So I've been very busy decorating and everything. Um, however, that will be being shown to you all in a future video. Um, I recently did a trip to Ikea, um, bought a couple of bits so all of that is to come so stay tuned if you're interested in that um and secondly going back to florida um i just want to say a massive thank you again to everyone who's like supported me and been watching all of my florida vlogs honestly i've had so much support on all of those videos like way more than I could have ever imagined. I've gained loads of new subscribers as well. So welcome to my little corner of the internet. Um, yeah, just thank you all so much. So anyway, back to today's video. Um, I thought, why not give you all a shopping haul of everything I bought and my mum bought um, in Disney whilst we were in Florida. So we've got a lot to get through, <laughs> as you've already seen the mass of bags. So grab yourself a coffee, a cup of tea, you know, make yourself comfy because <laughs> this might take a while. Right, I have organised everything the best I can into sort of categories. Um, where should I start? Okay, first I'm going to start with the couple of bits of my mum's that are like sort of random. They kind of don't have a category. So we'll start with them. Um, so first is in the character warehouse, which is located in the premium Orlando outlets. My mum bought this purse from Epcot, which was for the Epcot 30th. It is one of the lounge fly purses. Um, so yeah, and then it's got this zip pocket um, for like your coins. And then it buttons up and like that. Um, and my mum paid 19.99 for this. Um, and originally, so it's got the original tag on from when they were selling it in Epcot. Originally, it was meant to have been $50. So that's an absolute bargain. Like, definitely, if you have sort of a down day whilst you're in Florida um, on, like, your Disney trip, definitely try and get down to the character warehouse. So essentially what it is, it's all of the sort of last season stuff or stuff that you know they're no longer selling in the parks um so they take it down to the outlet mall and they sell it at like discounted price so yeah as i said this was meant to have been 50 dollars and was reduced down to 19.99 so essentially it's like 30 dollars cheaper there um so mum got that and then while she was there she also picked up the Disney, Walt Disney World 50th shopping bag, um, which is just like a standard shopping bag. Um, and she paid $1.50 for it. And um, I don't know if, ooh. 
I don't think this actually has the original tag on of how much it cost but um, again majorly discounted um, I can imagine in the parks for a Disney shopping bag they were probably charging quite a bit for so anyway that's the part number one um, moving on to something a little more exciting I'm going to show you all of the like plushies, teddies, soft toys that we picked up between the two of us. Starting with one of my favourites. Um, so one of my favourite Disney films, in fact, is my favourite Disney film, is Aladdin. So I've always on my bed had, the G well, since Christmas, since my brother actually bought this me for Christmas. I've had the genie on my bed, which I love. Um, and I sleep with him every night. And then whilst we were at World of Disney, which is in Disney Springs, um, I picked, which basically World of Disney, they have stuff from like all the parks all in there. Um, so yeah, whilst we were in there, I saw a boo. I think he's adorable. He is one of the newest um, plushies from their like Bigfoot range. Um, so yeah, and he's wearing his little purple waistcoat and he's got a really cute tail as well. So I bought him um, and he cost me $29.99, which I don't think is too bad. Like. In the past, some of the Disney plushies have been really expensive, but yeah, $29.99, so he was from World of Disney. Um, what else have we got? Oh, and then I also, from World of Disney, picked up two Nuimos. Um, Before we even went to Florida, I'd said to my mum, I want to get at least one Nuimo, if not more. Um, so yeah, I was trying to decide. Um, I actually ended up getting two. So, the first one I picked up was the White Rabbit. Um, I just thought he was so cute. Um, yeah, and so his apron you can take off. If you don't know, um, basically, Disney do with the Nuimos similar to like what Build-A-Bear do with their teddies. So, you can buy different outfits and change them up um i didn't actually get an outfit for the white rabbit because i was like you know i like him how he how he is in his little apron um but yeah and all the nuimos they're like arms and legs all move so you can like position them um and what a lot of people do and what i also did whilst in disney you can attach them to like the straps of your bags so say you've got a bag strap on you can get a hairband and like Catch them on so white rabbit didn't actually come on any of the adventures with me but my other Nuimo we need a poo he did so I had him strapped onto my bags in lots of my videos um, if you haven't seen my Disney vlogs I have linked them in the description down below so go check those out but yeah this is the other Nuimo I got and as you can see um, I got this really cute outfit for him. He's wearing a little Hawaiian shirt, um, a t-shirt with a bumblebee on, and then these little denim shorts. So the price of the Nuimos were um, so Winnie the Pooh was $19.99 and the White Rabbit was slightly more expensive. I think because at the time when I was in Florida, it was one of the newest ones to the collection. So it was $21.99. Um, so only $2 more. Um, and then for Pooh's outfit, that was $12.99. So, you know, the, the outfits themselves are actually a bit pricey. If you think, like, the Nuimo cot... He's got a hair on his nose. <laughs> Um, if you think like the Nuimo itself cost $19.99 and the outfit's $12.99. However, um, the character warehouse I was talking about earlier, 
they do actually sell a lot of the Nuimo outfits very discounted. Um, so I did see a few whilst I was in there and I think they were ranging at about $4.99 to $6.99. Um, which obviously is like half price to what they usually are. Um, but at that stage in the holiday when we went there, I hadn't yet bought my Nuimos. So I didn't pick up any outfits. Um, but definitely, if you are considering buying Nuimos, uh, look to get the outfits in the character warehouse because they sell them there and they're always much better in price. Um, right. Continuing with the plushies, we're going on to mums, so, uh, okay, on day 8 of our holiday we went to Epcot and we rode Guardians um, for the first time which was incredible, mum fell in love with the ride and then she found baby Groot um, and this plushie is so cute, Groot's arms and legs move as well so you can like position him um, and also I think, is he meant to be centred? I don't know mm. okay it says he's centred with cinnamon but I can't smell any cinnamon on him but to be fair, I think I've got a bit of a blocked nose right now, so maybe he does smell a cinema. <laughs> but yeah, so mum picked this one up in the Wonders of Xandar shop, which is literally as you come out of the Guardian's ride. Um, and she paid $24.99. So that's him, he's super cute. Um, what else did mum get? And then mum also picked up an Olaf plushie um, which in all honesty I have no idea where she picked him up from I can tell you the price because the price is on him so he was $26.99 um, but yeah I don't actually know where he came from but mm, no he didn't I was gonna say maybe she got him after the Frozen ride in Epcot, but the day we did that, the park was literally closing when we got off the ride, so all the merchandise shops were all shut already, so it wasn't then. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe she got him in World of Disney, or maybe from the Emporium in Magic Kingdom, but I'm sure to be fair, you can find him across several of the parks, seeing as he's a very popular character. <laughs> Um, and then mum also got a Nuimo, which she picked up after I'd got mine. She was trying to decide on what one to get for ages and I am slightly jealous of hers because she got Minnie Mouse um, and they didn't have Minnie Mouse in many of the shops at all and I think... I want to say mum found her in Hollywood Studios, um, but I can't remember, but she was 19 99 and I, I remember it was quite towards the end of the holiday I think, so maybe it wasn't Hollywood Studios, um, but to be fair I think since we've come home from Florida they've stocked up the Nuimos a lot more, they are a lot more popular now so you can probably find Minnie in just about any of the shops over there. So that was all the plushies. Um, what should I do next? Let's, let's move on to clothing. So, we'll start with mums. Um, okay, so at Disney Springs, there are obviously several different Disney shops. Uh, one of the first ones we went in was Disney Style and Mum picked up this tank top which is super cute um, and it says chasing the fun on it with the Magic Kingdom castle. Sorry, my camera stopped recording for a brief second. <laughs> As I was saying, um, yeah, so this tank top Mum picked up which is super cute. Um, has Cinderella's castle on it 
and the quote chasing the sun no chasing the <laughs> chasing the fun um and she paid 39.99 for that um which again i think is a really fair price like it's really good quality um really cute and summery so yeah and then mum also picked up which she got this from Magic Kingdom the first time we went. I believe she picked it up in the gift shop near um, Gaston's Tavern. Um, however, I don't have the receipt for it. So I honestly, I can't tell you how much she paid. But she got this really cute bucket hat. Um, and it's got the princesses on the front. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's super cute and summery and in florida you definitely need hats shades it just anything to try and keep the sun off of you because the sun is strong over there but yeah so that's got this ariel tiana snow white um rapunzel moana is that all of them yeah yeah so they're all on there but then like the pattern itself has like uh jasmine's palace um like cinderella's castle like all little princessy stuff so yeah mum picked up that and then going back to the character warehouse i picked up two things in there the first thing I picked up was this Fantasyland baseball cap because I do really love a cap and I'm so glad I'm finally showing you guys this because I've been trying not to wear any of my clothes or like get anything out of the bags until I filmed this video. So I'm so glad I finally have got around filming the video because it means I can actually wear this. Um, but yeah, it's got basically Fantasyland on the front with like Dumbo and like the castle um, and then it says Fantasyland in turquoise writing on the back um, and I paid 12 99 for that originally it was 29 99 and then the other thing I picked up in the character warehouse was this Walt Disney World t-shirt which is just a grey graphic t-shirt and then has Walt Disney World um, in multicoloured writing on the front. And for that I paid $14.99 and originally was $36.99. Um, so yeah, again, another major bargain. I can't wait to wear that. And then finally, the last bit of clothing that I picked up, which... I'm so excited to show you guys and I have already worn it because there was no way I was waiting to wear it. I literally, I knew I wanted to get this before I went to Florida and I'm so glad I have. Um, so it's the new Little Mermaid part of your world spirit jersey. Um, so on the front it's just got the little Ariel and then on the back it says part of your world and then has the new uh, live action Little Mermaid Ariel on it. Um, but yeah, I love it so, so much and I couldn't wait to wear it. So yeah, I've been wearing that a lot. And then obviously in the bottom left hand corner on the front, it's got the Disney logo. Um, so yeah, um, and for that, I paid $79.99, which I know it's pricey, but that is still way cheaper than you get them for in this country. Because I think if you buy it off the Shop Disney website in the UK, I think that they're either £80 or £85, which I paid $79.99 in English conversion. That's probably 
70 pound so i did save some money in buying it over there which is why i have waited until we went to florida to get it um so yeah moving on um the next thing i'm going to show you is all of the disney uh mickey ears we picked up or mini ears whatever you want to refer to them as um we got quite a few um I'll start with the pair Mum bought, so Mum got these, which are the brand new Disney 100 year anniversary ears, they're the lounge fly ones, so they say lounge fly on the side, and they have like the classic um, Mickey Mouse characters, so Minnie, Mickey, uh, Donald, Pluto and Tink um, and then on the Mickey bit in the middle it says Disney 100 um, these were slightly more expensive than all of the others I believe so I believe mum paid 39.99 for them um, and then all of the other ears like across all of Disney and all the stores are all 34.99 so during our trip I picked up quite a few um okay the first pair i bought which i haven't worn yet they've still got the tags on them um were the up ears again you will have seen me try these on in the vlogs if you've seen the vlogs um but yeah i thought they were super cute so they've got the up house on them and then they've got the quote which says adventure is out there and the grape soda in the middle and obviously inside the actual ears is like all little pom-poms which are meant to be like the balloons so i got those ones uh next ones i picked up wore, were the animal print sequin ears um which i wore on the day we went to animal kingdom um and i just had to get them because my top i'd planned to wear to animal kingdom matched these perfectly um so yeah i got those and then at the same time i bought those ears i also picked these ones up which again i haven't worn yet and these are the alice in wonderland united kingdom pavilion ears um which i had to get for two reasons after day one in magic kingdom i had the most magical encounter with Alice during the parade if you haven't seen that go back watch my vlog um you'll see it truly is magical <laughs> she basically came over to me complimented me on my ears I was wearing at the time and we had this little interaction whilst the parade was going on so yeah I got these ears um because they sort of reminded me of that and then also because they're the United Kingdom ears, so on the right hand side they actually say United Kingdom and then on the left hand side they say um, it's always tea time, I think, yeah. Um, so yeah, I got those. Um, <laughs> and then the final pair of ears I bought I bought these ones the same time as mum got her ears so these are also the Disney 100 but these are the Disney 100 years of music and wonder I think it is is that what's called no music and oh gosh this isn't good I can't remember <laughs> but anyway um I thought these were super cute they've got lots of the main characters on um so you got genie you got tiana obviously mickey in the middle who else we got on that um rapunzel um some of the aristocats i believe um yeah and then on the back they are like tie-dye print with disney 100 and i wore those on the last day of our holiday um so yes I love all my ears and in my room I'm planning to do an ear ear wall over here somewhere so when you see my full room transformation video 
you'll see that too. <laughs> okay, next we have got some other sort of random little bits that I'll quickly show you. So mum picked up the Disney 50th anniversary peppermints. Um, she just wanted a little memento of the 50th. So she got those. Um, I believe they were like a couple of dollars. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have the receipt. Um, and then she also bought this fridge magnet. Um, which is a bit ironic because... Our fridge in our new house isn't magnetic. <laughs> in our old house, we had a lot of fridge magnets, but here. Um, so I'm not really sure where mum's going to stick this. Maybe on her radiator or something. But anyway, it is very cute. It's for the 100th anniversary. Um, and she paid $14.99 for that one. Okay, I've got two more categories. So the next one is all of the like pins and things we picked up so um okay i'll start with this because it's on top of the bag so firstly we got two lanyards mum actually paid for both of them um so mum got so i picked this one mum paid for it so it is the probably can't read it properly um it's the tink about lanyard that says faith trust and pixie dust on it um this lighting is not the best for reading it uh but yeah so it's like purple um says that on it and then at the bottom it's got the little oh, <laughs> little tinkerbell charm as well um which is super cute um and then mum picked for herself this lanyard which on the one side is all the disney dogs and on the other side is all the disney cats um and then at the bottom it's just got the disney parks authentic badge um so both of those lanyards we picked up from uh, big Top Circus Souvenirs in Magic Kingdom um, and they were both $14.99 and whilst mum was in there she also picked up the Peter Pan and Wendy pin which uh, looks like that and that one was $11.99 and then what ones are we doing next? Okay, we'll stick to mum's pins if I can find them so mum also got two other pins. She got this one, which is Marie and says perfect on it. And she also got Mary Poppins. Um, and she picked those up from, oh, focus. <laughs> she picked those ones up from Pin Traders at World of Disney. Um, and they also were both 11.99. If you are a big pin trader, pin collector, definitely check out the pin traders shop at World of Disney. They literally, it's a whole shop dedicated to pins. It's like circular and they just have thousands and thousands of pins in there. Like, if you are hunting for a pin, that is the place you'll find it. Um, so yeah, check that one out. Okay, so mum also got another pin. Is this hers or is this... Oh no, I think this actually might be Cameron's and it somehow ended up in her bag. But I'm sure this is the one Cameron, Cameron bought. Um, yeah, so that's the Disney 100 pin. It's got Minnie and Mickey on it. And then in the middle, if I can get the right, the lighting right, it's got the silhouette of the castle. Um, oh, my camera's probably not going to focus now, is it? There we go. <laughs> so yeah. I believe it was Cameron that picked that one up um, and I think he paid $14.99 for it. Um, the Disney 100 collection you can get pretty much in all the parks. Cameron did get that from the Emporium, um, if that's the one he got, which I think it is. And then moving on to the pins I got. So I got two different pins. The first one I got was the Mad Hatter's hat 
um, which again, going back to the story I was saying about what happened in the parade at Magic Kingdom, I wanted to get something to remind me of that. Um, so yeah, I got Mad Hatter's hat and it says, it's always tea time on it. Um, and I paid 11 99 for that. And then the other pin I bought was this one, which has Goofy and Donald on it and Walt and Mickey in front of the castle. Um, I just thought it perfectly summarised the whole holiday, really. Um, I did several meet and greets with both Donald and Goofy throughout the holiday. Um, and I just thought that perfectly summarised it. So I did get that on the very last day of holiday. Um, and I think, was that the one I paid? Yeah, so I paid 14 99 for that one. And that one was from the Big Top Souvenirs. So that's all the pins. And then the final category, guys, um, is going to be our jewellery um, that we picked up during our trip. Um... So, if you don't already know, basically in Magic Kingdom they have a Pandora shop um, that is all Disney charms and loads of them there are Walt Disney World exclusive so that is the only place in the world you can get these charms from. Of course they have the other Disney Pandora charms. Um, from the other collections that you can get all over the globe like they sell them here in this country but they also have ones that are specifically only sold in Magic Kingdom um, so we got well mum bought two of those and she also bought myself one for a birthday present it's my birthday in September so she bought me that um, and obviously because they are Magic Kingdom exclusive they are on the slightly higher price range, as you would expect, but they are gorgeous. Um, so, so the first one Mum bought, if I can just find the receipt, hang on. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. The first one Mum bought was the rabbit themed one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these properly, if it'll focus. Um, there. So, um, it has the white rabbit on that side. And then if I flip it around on the other side, it has the March Hare. Um, and that one was $90. So... Like I just said, it is completely Disney exclusive, so you can only get it in Magic Kingdom, hence why they are higher prices. Um, and then, Mum also picked for herself this one, which is the Minnie Mouse um, ear charm, which is like a dangly charm. Um, so yeah, she got that one which was $75. Um, every time I do this, it's just not gonna focus. Right, <laughs> so she got that one, which was $75. And then the one I chose for myself, which mum's bought me as a birthday present, um, which I love, I think it's super cute. Um, so it says, my happy place. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it says my happy place and then has the three Mickey Mouse balloons on it in turquoise, um, oh, four. It has four <laughs> Mickey Mouse balloons on it in turquoise, pink, purple, and yellow, um, which Walt Disney World truly is my happy place. So it was the perfect charm for me. And then also along the sides, it has like little stars as well um, and again that one was $75 and then so this jewellery we actually got last minute in the airport whilst we were on the way home but it was from the official Walt Disney World store that they have in the airport 
So mum chose two things and I chose two things. So mum chose first a pair of earrings, which are gorgeous. Um, if I had my ears pierced, I would definitely have picked some earrings from Disney because they are all gorgeous. So these are silver earrings, they're little Mickey Mouse heads and they are so sparkly. Is it in focus? Ha! <laughs> um, yeah, super sparkly. So they were twenty one ninety nine. Um, and then Mum also chose a ring. So me and Mum both chose a ring. This is the one that Mum chose. Um, so it's got Mickey Mouse on it, and it crosses over. So it's um, silver and rose gold. And that one was twenty six ninety nine, and then this is the ring I chose, um, which also has Mickey Mouse on it. Super super shiny. Um, again twenty six ninety nine, and then the last item of the whole haul, guys, was this necklace that I chose, um, which is the uh, Mickey Mouse ears which I was like you know it's the perfect necklace for me so that's like in rose gold as well um, and that one was $21.99 so that is that guys I think that just about wraps up everything we bought I have no idea how much this all came to um, but yeah, it was a lot of money. Um, but, you know, we're crazy about Disney, both me and mum. We just couldn't resist. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, so I think all that's left to say is I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have, be sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button and the bell if you haven't done so already then you'll be notified when I next post obviously I am back from Florida now so there won't be any more Florida vlogs coming um, or not for a little while anyway um, however I am gonna try and keep sort of posting regular content um, my aim is to kind of post a video every week to two weeks um but of course it does depend what i can make content on um but yeah and i'm sure if i do post content there will be some disney involved in it in some way because it really is a massive part of my life um so yeah stay tuned everyone and i promise i'll be back soon for more videos um yeah thanks for watching Bye!